Hello friends, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. Today, we are diving into the world of Node.js and exploring the magic of drag and drop file upload. If you have ever wondered how to seamlessly integrate this feature into your web applications, then you are in the right place. If you are building a web application and want to give your users a seamless way to upload files, well, with Node.js, that task becomes a breeze. Gone are the days of clunky, file input fields. Say hello to the elegance of drag and drop. But wait, there is more. Not only will we implement this feature, but we will also break down each line of code, ensuring you understand the ins and outs of how it all works. So whether you are a seasoned Node.js developer, or just starting out, buckle up and get ready to level up your file upload game. Alright, let us jump right in and discover the power of drag and drop file upload in Node.js. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on more awesome tutorials. Let us get coding. Hey everyone. Before we dive into building our drag and drop file upload feature in Node.js, first we need to make sure we have all the necessary tools. So, the first step is to download and install Express and Multa. Express is a fast, unopinionated, minimalist web framework for Node.js. While Multa is a middleware for handling multipart form data, which is primarily used for uploading files. Together, they make the perfect combo for our file upload needs. To install Express, simply open your terminal and type this, which will download and install Express Framework. And for Multa, it is just as easy. Type this command, which will download Multa in our Node application. Once the installations are complete, we will be ready to start building our file upload functionality with ease. Express and Multa will handle the heavy lifting, allowing us to focus on creating an awesome user experience. Now here, we have create one upload.html file. And under this file, we have paste this code in which we have used Bootstrap 5 library. Under this file, we have create one division tag with id attribute is equal to drop zone. So, here we will use this tag for drag and drop area. And here, we have paste this CSS code which will convert this tag into drag and drop area. Next, for display uploaded image, here, we have to create one division tag with id is equal to uploaded image. So under this tag, we will display uploaded image. So here our HTML code is ready. And now we have goes to JavaScript code part. Alright, let us dive into the JavaScript code, which is responsible for handling the drag and drop functionality on our user interface. First up, we are declaring a variable called drop zone and assigning it the value of the HTML element with the ID drop zone. This element represents the area where users can drag and drop their files. Next, we are adding an event listener to the drop zone element for the drag over event. When a file is dragged over the drop zone, this event fires and we prevent the default behavior to enable dropping. And under this event, we have add hover class under this drop zone element, which will change property of this drop zone element area. Similarly, we are adding another event listener for the drag leave event. This event occurs when the dragged item leaves the drop zone. And under this event, 
we have again prevent the default behavior. And then after, we have removed the hover class from the drop zone. Lastly, we handle the drop event. So when a file is dropped into the drop zone, this event is triggered. So when file has been dropped, then we have to first prevent the default behavior. And next, we have to remove hover class from the drop zone element. After this, we have retrieves the dropped files by using data transfer property of the event object. After this, we have create one handle files function with files variable as parameter. This function will handle file one by one. Under this function, we have to write for loop and under condition, we have to write count variable is equal to zero count variable value is less than the value of files dot length property and count variable value increment by one under this loop we have to write file variable is equal to files with count variable value index so here we have store single file property under this local file variable after this we have called upload file function with file variable as argument so this function will send file to server for upload so here our handle files function is ready now we have goes to drop event code and here we have called handle files function with files variable as parameter so when we have drop file, then it will call this function, which will one by one, send file to server. Next, we declare the upload file function, which takes the file parameter, which representing the file to be uploaded. Inside the function, we create a new instance of the form data object, which allows us to easily construct a set of key value pairs representing form fields and their values next we append the selected file to the form data object using the append method this prepares the file to be sent along with the http request to the server now comes the crucial part and we use the fetch api to make a post request which is sent to the slash upload endpoint on our server And under this request, we pass the form data object as the request body. Once the server processes the request and sends back a response, we handle it using the then method. We extract the JSON data from the response, which typically contains information about the uploaded file. Finally, we want to update the user interface to display the uploaded image. So for this, we have to write gallery variable is equal to document.getElement by ID method. And under this, we have to write division tag ID like uploaded image. After this, we have to write HTML variable is equal to image tag. with source attribute is equal to slash uploads directory name slash data dot file name variable in which we have store uploaded file name and for display uploaded image we have to write gallery dot in the html property is equal to html variable so it will display uploaded image on web page and here our upload file function is ready. So here, our JavaScript code is ready. Now we have to create new file with name like server.js.
This file will handle the backend logic, including setting up our server, routing, and handling file uploads. First, we import the necessary modules under this file. So first express modules are used for creating our server. Next for upload file, we have import multi modules, which will handling file uploads. And after this, we have import path modules, which is used for working with file paths. Next, we initialize our express application by calling the express function and assigning it to the app variable. After this, we also define the port number on which our server will listen. After this, we have used the express.status middleware, which serve the static files from the current directory. This allows us to serve our frontend files such as HTML, CSS and JavaScript directly from the server. Now, let us set up a route to handle get requests to the slash upload endpoint. When a user accesses this endpoint, we will send them to the upload.html file, which contains the front end interface for uploading files. So here, our get route is ready for display drag and drop file upload page in the browser. Now, let us continue building our backend functionality by implementing file upload using Multa. So first we have to set up Multa storage. So we have defined an object called storage using multa.disk storage. This object specifies where uploaded files should be stored and how they should be named. Under this object, we have to write destination callback function with three parameter like request, file, and callback function name. In this object, destination, function, we specify the directory where uploaded files will be saved. So in this case, we are storing them in the uploads directory. Next, we have to write file name callback function with request, file, and callback function as variable. So here, in the file name function, we define how each uploaded file should be named. Here, we are appending the current timestamp to the original file name to ensure each file has a unique name. Now that we have set up storage. So here, we initialize multi upload by passing the storage object as configuration options. Next, we define a route to handle post requests to the upload endpoint. Here, we use the upload.single middleware to handle a single file upload. And after this, we have to write callback function with request and response variable as parameter. Under this, we have to write response.json method and under this method, we have to write file name as key and in value, we have to write request.file.file name. So when a file is uploaded, then the file details will be sent to client. Lastly, we have to write app.listen method with two parameter like port variable and callback function. So here, we have start our server by calling listen method on the app object and specifying port number. Once the server is running, a message is logged to console indicating the port number. So here our code is ready and we have goes to terminal and run this command. So it will start node server and provide us base URL of our node application. So friends, here in browser, we have open base URL of node application. And here, 
we can see that our user interface with a clean and intuitive drag and drop area. Here users can simply drag their files onto this area from their device. Once a file is dropped, our backend server springs into action. And Malta handles the file upload process and saving that file to our server and generating a unique file name to avoid conflicts. And when file uploaded successfully, then it will dynamically update the user interface to display uploaded file. And by using JavaScript, we retrieve the file name from the server response and generate an HTML image tag to display uploaded image. And here, our drag and drop file upload feature is fully functional and providing seamless experience from start to finish to the users. Thank you all for joining me on this journey. Do not forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more tutorials and updates.